Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plan Obsessed, and today we're going to talk about how I get my grit. Um, I've already started part of the process here, but as you can imagine, this is quite a few eggs that we've saved up over the last, I don't know, couple of weeks. And uh, something satisfying about that, don't you think? Anywho, so you peel the egg and you let it dry out, or you put it in the microwave. And generally, I do it for 30 seconds at a time and then I let it cool and kind of fluff it up and then do it again until it gets to this consistency where it shatters. All right, and then once you have managed to get them all in, I kind of crunch them up smaller so that I can get more into the coffee grinder. Um, but that's what I use is a regular old coffee grinder. So here we are. Um, no particular brand is good or bad, but this, this is what I use to turn it into a fine powder. So what you do is generally I will take about half, half of this cup here. Otherwise it kind of tends to get bogged down a little bit. Also I should probably plug it in doesn't work very good if you don't plug it in. Alright, so then I just put it in there, kind of making a mess, and then I poke the button. You can kind of hear the difference in the sound when it's finally at its preferred fineness. So I will pour that into a bowl and you can see what it looks like. Not 100% of everything is super, super fine. You can kind of see it's like pepper. Um, you might have noticed I waited a second, kind of tapped on the lid for a second to knock down the dust so that it doesn't make a plume of dust that I have to breathe in, which is not good. Absolutely no particulates are good for you. It's not just that the eggshell or crab shell or whatever you're making into um, grit is bad for you in particular, but uh, particulates are bad for you. All right. There you go. Now I take this and I mix this into my bedding because I, I tend to forget to do that if I don't and I end up with a big jar of grit and then nowhere to put it. So that's what I do. Uh, some people just kind of shake it on top of the worm feedings, kind of like salt on a meal. Um, either way is fine, it doesn't matter and the worms will use it just fine. Um, so. If you have any questions, put that in below in the comment section. If you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up, well, or a clean thumbs up today. And if you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing, what I'm doing, it ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.